Hello, good day everyone, ladies and gentlemen. In this event of Ichimeche 2020, me, Bangun Indra Kusumura Ditya Hasritanto, and Satria Nugroho from Universitas Diponegoro, Semarang, Fafian Dewanta from Telkom University, Bandung, and Aditya Ryo Prabowo from Universitas 11 Maret, Surakarta, would like to present our research about design strategy for making sustainable mosques. This is our content, introduction, methods, discussion about sustainability, orientation, lighting, heat ventilating and air conditioning, water recycle, and IT strategy before we make the conclusion. As we know, mosque is the Muslim worshipping built environment. It not only built for salat, but also other activities like zikir, reminding Allah name, tadarus, reading Al-Quran, and religious education at a school, etc. etc. During previous study of sustainability design in mosques, we found that mosques have been consumed a lot of energy for for the activities. That's why this research aim is to suggest strategies toward comprehensive study of mosques and sustainability strategies. We do two methods. First is lateral study by make resume, quick resume of Indonesia GPCI, America LEED, England BREEAM, Malaysia GPI, and Singapore Greenmark. Then, we make a study case and smooth risk scenario of bidding layout, lighting, HVAC, and water consumption in the mosque. So, what is sustainability? Sustainability is the logic conscious choice by not spending more options in which gain increased return on investment. Sustainability also working with nature, not for fight against it. Sustainability is friendly for both environment and user health. So, sustainability in design is site development, energy conservation, water conservation, matter cycle, indoor air comfort, and building management. So, what is the sustainability most design? Before we go to the sustainable mosque, let's talk about the basic mosque design. Mosque is a religious building which not only based on Islam Sahriya, but also cultural adaptation of the building site as contextual response in design. We know that Qibla or direction is the basic one because all the prayer should direct the Qibla to the Mecca, Kaabah in Mecca. That's why a lot of build, most buildings are oriented to Kaabah in Mecca. Not all, but most of it. Only one mosque is not directly to the Kaabah. Kaabah. It was built before Nabi Muhammad. So, with that circumcision, circular is the most effective shape to respond it. Because Every time earth has moved maybe one centi, one centi, one centi, but it happened every day. But should we do that? No. We can do the other things like related to passive design strategy, orientation of the building should uh, not facing the west and east because it's having potential heat and energy from the solar sun. Yeah, we must avoid it. If we oriented our building west and east, so we can get our space, our room inside the building so hot. But if the Kipla is on the west or east, what we do? Yeah, you're right. We suggest double orientation of building. I told you before that prayer space are directing our Qibla to the Kaaba. So we make the prayer space direction only that follow the Qibla. But whole building, we do this building orientation strategy. Next, the lighting strategy. There's a lot of activity we do in mosque, so at least we have we should have 20 200 lux of light intensity. So how we can get that? You see this illustration? 
we can get it to two. First is natural lighting. The second one is artificial lighting. So how we optimize that? The first, we can optimize the natural lighting by optimize the wall opening on north side and south side of the building. Why not and south? Because I told you before, west and east is not suitable for the orientation. After the wall opening, we can do the passive overhang. This overhang and light self above the window or wall opening to deliver the lighting to the space that we want or work plane. After the natural lighting, we can do the artificial one by install the multi-sensor lamp along the line that based on the window proximity. So, well, based on window because this sensor will detect if the light intensity getting low, so they will control the control will actuate to turn on the lamp. If not, they don't need to turn on the lamp. After that, we can use the LED. Until now, L light emitting diode is the most efficient lamp that common in the application. Okay, we go to the next is HVAC strategy. The HVAC main purpose is to meet the thermal comfort in certain criterion. You can optimize by space zoning of, for HVAC. This three zone. The first zone is all day prayer, and the second one the maghrib and isa because maghrib and isa is conducting during the night, and the Friday prayer because the this is the most well, crowded prayer. Then we put multi sensor in activation for activating the FEAC. If there's people, they turn on. If there are no people, they will turn off. Then the third one is the room insulation. We can protect the energy with room insulation. And then water cycle strategy. We know that. In most, we do ablation, irrigation, shower, kitchen, and toilet surface using the water. So, how to optimize it? We can do choose the good tap control design. How? You see in here, this is an example of a kind of taps. Which one do you choose? Yeah, you're right. Automatic tap. Why? Because using automatic tap, we can save the water because the waste water is only 30% with the ablation time is 50 minutes and the second one is we can do the grey water recycle like this the grey water recycle plus uh, rainwater harvesting we can make extra water strategy and last but not least we can do the IT we can optimize the IT for automation control and monitoring strategy. How? Yeah. You see this scheme? There's a three layer. Let's talk about the bottom layer. The bottom layer we apply by creating closed loop sensor control and actuator. As I told you before, it's about we can turn on, we can make it lower, we can make higher by sensors respond to the actuator. This direct one and the second layer middle layer the actuator and the sensor are connected each other for controlling and monitoring through local network so they don't use the standalone things they connect it through the local network and the top layer play the vital role for diagnosing by a big data analytic so with this one we can control we can monitor from the other place or make it automatic so the calculation is we can make the design strategy of building contextual layout lighting strategy HVAC strategy water conservation strategy and that for should be linked by IT strategy through monitor automatic control to emphasize the stable most design this is our 42 references I think that's all see you in the next event thank you